hair and today's video is going to be on this look. So I just got the Kylie Cosmetics birthday edition and I knew that I wanted to use some products from there and do like a bronzy look. So I just kind of played with things and this is what we ended up with. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, just stay tuned. I'm gonna start by using these makeup remover wipes from Symphony B. I'm just gonna use it to remove a little bit of leftover lash glue on my lashes, and these are good for all skin types. So for my moisturizer, I'm going to be using this moisturizer from Olive Natural B. This is an anti-aging moisturizer, so this is good for underneath the makeup. For my primer, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Primer. By the way, I got a facial and it messed up my face for like two weeks. I was broken out for like two weeks. Is that normal? I don't know because I don't get facials. So to apply my foundation, I'm using this new sponge that I got in my Ipsy Glam bag. This is from Bugeshi, and it works best when it's damp, so I just went ahead and got it a little damp. And I think you're not supposed to apply product directly to the sponge because it eats up a lot of product, but ain't nobody got time. Oh wait, I didn't even say what foundation I'm using. Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. This is my favorite foundation. My face is a little bit lighter than my body right now, so, um, just gonna go ahead and match it, fake a tan. So I started um, a new workout routine. I downloaded the app Sweat with Kayla and I started the BBG program. I had always seen it on social media, but I never knew what it was. Apparently it's like really popular. People are super into it. If you look on the hashtag BBG on Instagram, you'll see tons of before and after pictures. And um, it's basically just circuit training. It's really similar to what I used to do with uh, Marissa, my roommate. So I paid for the app and I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm committed to the 12 weeks is what I paid for. Yeah, I'm just excited to like try something new because I feel like I've been stuck in the same place for so long. So today is day three for me and I'm like already super sore. You guys should see how pathetic my push-ups are. But I don't care how small they are. I'm in there like, I still do it. Next, I'm gonna warm up the face using um, this MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. I'm starting at the forehead, and I'm using a pretty good size brush because I feel like it just kind of gives you a more even looking tan. Whoa, got a little bit strong over there. I like looking tan because my teeth look white. On my brows, I'm using this pencil from JCAT Beauty. So I'm just going to start at the front of the brow, brow really lightly. And I'm just gonna feather it up here in the front. Next I'm gonna take some cream concealer and carve out the bottom line of my brows. So for my eyeshadows, I'm going to be using my Melt Cosmetics eyeshadow stack. I'm going to start with this color called Blur and I'm going to put this in the upper crease area. So I'm going to try and get like really precise with this look. <laughs> I don't know why I just said it like that. But in my early Instagram days, when I used to do looks for the gram, I would get like, because I would take iPhone pictures with flash and it would show every tiny detail so I would get so precise but now I don't do that anymore but that's what I'm trying that's what I'm going for today next I'm going to take this color called Enigma and I'm going to put this into the crease so I'm also really lightly gonna bring this Enigma shadow over into the brow bone and I just brought it up slightly higher than where my crease is. Next I'm taking the color Dark Matter. This is from my Melt Cosmetics stack and this is just a matte black eyeshadow. I haven't done like a sharp cut crease in a while so we'll see but I'm taking this little brush like this and I don't want a lot of product on the brush. I'm gonna kind of hold it in at an angle and just start inching it upwards. And I'm really using really light touch, like just barely 
just like barely touching the skin with it. So down here, actually I guess like over all of this, I'm just gonna blend it out. Maybe even take a little bit more of that Enigma shade. So on my lid, I'm gonna be applying this Kylie Cream Shadow in Copper. This was part of her um, birthday edition collection. So it's a really pretty color. This is actually my first time trying it. I'm gonna take a flat brush. First I'm gonna start down here. So I'm gonna try and like really cut out this crease over here. I'm gonna kind of diffuse that out too, so it just disappears. So I'm gonna take a little bit of gold eyeshadow. So now before I complete the eyes, I'm going to do my under eyes. And I'm gonna be using um, Studio Fix Powder in NW20. And a bunch of you caught it last time. I was calling it something else, but I was using a Studio Fix powder. I didn't even realize, because I'm so used to just using this um, Monica Dar. Yef and I were just discussing uh, the new Instagram story. I don't know, we're speculating on how this is gonna affect Snapchat, Instagram, and everyone in between. I haven't formed an opinion yet. <laughs> Jeff, that's a great question you posed there. I, d I don't know. Only time will tell. I was saying that it, um, I like Instagram because it's very carefully curated, fancy content. And Snapchat is where you Snapchat like looking like a bum. If you're like me. <laughs> <laughs> so now how are they both gonna live in the same place? I don't know. Also from the birthday edition, I'm going to be using this dark bronze gel liner and it came with a little brush. By the way, the um, cream color shadow went on really, really nice. I'm curious to see if it's gonna crease, but it doesn't look like it. It had a very like finished feel. Um, so I'm gonna just start here in the middle of the eye with the dark bronze. Now I'm gonna build the wing. So starting here, I'm gonna drag it up, and once I reach where I want it to end, I'm gonna release pressure. It sucks because I have this scar here that's always like, just being a hater. So now I'm gonna grab it, not at the very end of the wing, but at like right here, and bring this back. So the eyeliner looks really gold, and I'm pretty sure it's because I put it over the gold cream shadow. But I just wanna show you guys on my hand when I swatch the liner that it's a lot darker. It definitely has like little metallic sheen stuff in it, but it's a lot darker um, just on like bare skin than it is over the cream shadow. So since I'm gonna do some false lashes, I'm gonna take a little bit of liquid liner. I'm using NYC liquid liner. So off camera, I applied a quick coat of mascara and now I'm gonna put on my lashes. These are Flutter Lashes, uh, Shayla Lashes. So now that I have the lashes on, I think I just wanna make this black a little bit darker in the cut crease. So I'm gonna go back in with Dark Matter eyeshadow. I'm 
On the waterline, I'm going to use the dark bronze pencil that came in the Kylie birthday edition. I'm gonna take this uh, shadow called Unseen from Melt Cosmetics and just gonna smoke this out. And then I'm also gonna take uh, the color Enigma, the one we used in the crease, and I'm gonna add it right over here. So next I'm going to add some mascara to the bottom lashes. I'm gonna use this um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So I'm actually gonna wipe the brush off on a paper towel. Cause when the mascara is a little bit dry, it just helps it so the lashes don't like stick together so they look more separated. So I'm just going to finish up the face and do the lips and we're all done. To highlight the center of the nose, I'm taking this powder from Winky Lux. This is a diamond complexion powder in light. And I'm just gonna put this down the center of my nose. I like using this powder because it's lightweight and it's buildable. So I feel like you kind of, you have a lot of control over um, the look. Actually, I'm gonna use a little bit of this underneath my eyes too. I like my under eyes too light. But if it makes me happy, then that's all that matters. To contour, I'm gonna take this little palette from uh, MAC Cosmetics. This is the All The Right Angles Contour Palette, and this is in medium. I'm gonna contour on the bottom of my nose first, and then I'm gonna go on either side of that um, highlight on the center of my nose and keep it really tight. I take a little bit of highlighter and put it right here on the tip of my nose. This is the Anastasia So Hollywood. I'm gonna add a little bit of NARS Orgasm Blush. I'm torn because I wanna use this color um, Leo that's the new lip kit in the Kylie Birthday Edition, but there's also these metal lipsticks and lip glosses, so. So we're gonna go with the gold because it's different and we we haven't done that yet. I have no idea what, whoa. <laughs> so I like where this is headed, it's definitely different, but I think I wanna add just a little bit of liner. So I'm gonna do that first. This is um, Fair Minerals Freestyle Liner. So I'm also adding just a tiny bit of stone liner. Last but not least, I'm gonna add a little bit of this gloss called Poppin. So to highlight, I'm going to use this NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator, and this is really lightweight. So I'm gonna apply it with my ring finger right to the high point of my cheekbone. I'm also gonna take some Anastasia highlighter and just put that right on top. And using that, um, NYX highlighter underneath is just really gonna make this pop. Alright you guys, so this is the finished look. Some of you may consider this lip wearable, some of you may not. Personally, I think I would use the gloss and mix it into a nude lip. I think that'd be really nice. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.